Well, friends, the New Year holidays have passed so quickly, leaving behind pleasant memories, and of course, a couple or even more, from 5 to 10 extra kilograms on our stomachs and on our faces. Our chins have also become wider. What should we do? How should we act? After all, February 23rd, March 8th, and Pancake Week are still ahead. Haven't we already indulged too much? But no, there is a way to destroy all the extra kilograms that we have gained with the help of the New Year's holidays. Today, I will show you three lightning fast exercises that completely destroy belly fat and make your stomach perfectly flat. Friends, these three main exercises will benefit us. They will bring into order three muscles that tighten our stomach, making it the most ideal from the point of view of beauty and health. These are three muscles. I list them one by one. The first one is the rectus abdominis muscle, but it doesn't matter the order they are listed in because each of them has its own effect. The rectus abdominis muscle is also known as the abs. The abdomen's oblique muscles are also known as external and internal. The transversus abdominis muscle maintains the shape of the abdomen. It does not allow it to bulge out. The lack of form in the abdomen is due to its lack of work. So, where are these exercises from, friends? I already see a question arising in you. Where are all these exercises from? Have you already prepared your fingers to type questions in the comments? Maybe it's some unknown theory, someone asks. No, friends, it's just practice. Just practice all these skills I pass on to you. Where from? Schumerlinski, Institute of Weight Loss and Dietology, the latest development, leading specialists work there. As it goes, all doctors of medical sciences and dietitians all have at least 100 kilos in them, but still it delivers results. These doctors don't do these exercises themselves. They just invent exercises, develop, and scientifically substantiate them. So, friends, Three golden exercises of skinny dietitians. It gives a lightning fast effect. So there's no need to talk much. You want to lose weight already, I can see it. Please put the spoon aside. Put the borscht aside. Don't worry, it won't get chilly. We'll do this swiftly. <coughs> Remember, we're using three muscles. The rectus abdominis muscle, the first one, will get a load from us now. So, for this, we take a roller like this one. Or you can take a pillow and we put it under our buttocks. We lie down, we put it here. We bent our legs and now this pillow is under your buttocks and your fifth lumbar vertebra now I will show it to you on the diagram. Here it is. That's what you need to find. But wait. For those who need more than just a diagram, I also have a human spine model. Look at it. Here it is. The bony protrusion of the fifth lumbar vertebra. Focus on it. But wait, friends. Take another look. He is the fifth lumbar vertebra right here. Now I've shown it to you three times. If you didn't get it yet, rewind the video. We continue. Your buttocks should be right here, lying, warming up, on a soft cushion like a cat. We place them gently here and now, going back to your fifth lumbar vertebra. Your task now is to reach the floor with it as if putting it on the floor. To do this, you need to make a certain movement with your pelvis and press the tailbone of that fifth lumbar vertebra to the floor. If you put your hands on your stomach during this, you will find that it is tense in a very interesting way, so your pelvis has turned and your stomach is tense. Look what's happening. This is an unusual situation for people with a belly because their stomach muscles don't usually work like this. Here you are lying. Here is your fifth lumbar vertebra 
and your task now is to press it here to the floor. See how it turned and the stomach tensed? And see the stomach muscles, the abs muscles. What can it do? It can bend the chest like this when it is tense, or it can turn the pelvis like this. Now our task is to turn your pelvis here. In this way, see, this is the movement you are making here. The stomach muscles are tense. What happens at this moment? Look here at the picture carefully. A person whose stomach has protruded like this also has a shortening of the quadriceps muscles of the lumbar region at the same time. And a person who doesn't have a protruding stomach, their muscles, you see, they are so much longer. So, what does this exercise give us? At the same time, because we are twisting the pelvis, the straight muscle of the abdomen, this lower part of it, which is under your navel, this part starts to strain. And the quadriceps muscles are stretched, the intra-abdominal pressure is leveled, and your stomach goes closer to your spine, it presses against your spine like this. Friends, let's repeat. This is our first exercise. We change the position of the pelvis and see how we bring our body to perfection with exercises. Yes, like this, press and relax. But this exercise has a continuation for those who find it easy. You straighten your legs and try to press in this position. Then you straighten up even more and press like this. That is, the straighter the legs, the more load on the stomach, the quadriceps muscle will stretch more strongly. Like this. Remembers, friends, three sets ten times each. First ones dynamically, then three statically. Just press and hold. But this is not enough for us. We still have two muscles ahead, remember? Or are you already tired? Well, okay, let's take a break for now. All right. Are you back? But let's continue with the second exercise. It's the transversus abdominis muscle and the vacuum exercise, which is quite well known. We pull in the stomach, but we will do the vacuum, which was perfected by scientists. What do we do first? For those who do not know, let's start with the classic exercise. What does it consist of? We lightly bend down so that it is easier, exhale, and start pulling your stomach in. Pull in, pull in. Pull it in as much as you can when you exhale. You can do it sitting, you don't even need to get up. When you inhale, the stomach should be relaxed, bulging out a bit, and pull it in again during exhaling. Then repeat. This is a classic stomach vacuum. We don't need that one. We'll do another version. When inhaling, we'll be actually pulling the stomach in. And when exhaling, we'll do nothing. Not letting the stomach bulge out. That is, we have a difference from the classic vacuum. Here it is. The inhaling phase and the exhaling phase. During exhaling, the abdomen pulls in. In the classic vacuum, it's relaxed in the inhalation phase. But now, moving on to our version of vacuum. Our vacuum. Here we also have two phases, the inhalation phase and the exhalation phase, the same ones. But what do we do here? We pull in the abdomen on exhalation, and on inhalation, we also pull it in. We don't let it bulge out. So we'll be inhaling not into the abdomen, but here, into the square muscle. This place will inflate, and the ribs both back and front, that is, the chest will work more, and this part, which usually does not work. How to do this exercise? Look, the first part is the same. During exhalation, pull the stomach in, like this. And now we inhale, and we need to pull in the stomach again. Since we can't inflate the stomach, we will inflate here, here at the back, it will be unusual for many. That is, your task is to inhale here, in back, and with these ribs. 
so you lean over and inhale. We can inflate the chest and the back here. Exhale again, pull in the stomach, and so we repeat it 10 times. Now, the second exercise, the silver one, is done. The first exercise was bronze, the second one was silver, and the third one will be emerald. And so, friends, the third exercise, which already makes the stomach as skinny as possible. This exercise is for the oblique muscles. How do we make them work? With such a movement, but at the same time, the pelvis should remain in place. And there is a trick that our dietitians, scientists, who do not lose weight themselves, but do so that you lose weight, have come up with. Take a roller like this one, put it here between the pelvis and the wall, so that your pelvis is fixed, immovable. And now your task is to turn your shoulders and reach out just with your hand. But not just with your hand. You reach out, but turn with your shoulders to one side and to the other side. Do it in front of the mirror so that you can see how your fat will melt. These New Year's treats from the festive table, mayonnaise. See how all this burns, your calories from every movement, every exercise. Ten times to one side, ten times to the other side, and in reverse. Do it like this. Oblique muscles, they work well like this. In addition to this, you also increase the mobility of your spine for an additional effect. So, friends, not a single kilogram can withstand this triple action of exercises. Here's the full complex. If you can do it, if you can make yourself put aside your forks and spoons, get up and finally try this exercise. Then by the next episode, I won't even be able to recognize you. I will be watching you from the screens and I will be thinking, who are these skinny people here? Have you been starving? Oh no, you just did three simple exercises. Well, friends, like this video, leave some comments. Write in the comments how you're doing. Keep exercising, help your parents, and see you next time.